And when you come off the bench like he's used to, you have to affect the game quickly, and that's going to be the difference. The Cavs outscored the Magic by 15 during that stretch. The tip is won by the Cavs, and we are underway. John Michael Austin, Car Serena Winters as Markkinen misfires on the opening three. Garland, the mid-range jumper, tracked down by Laverne. In fact, this Mavericks team is top three defensively since the All-Star break. Marketing up yeah, yeah. another three. The Lakers must have been standing around saying, okay, shoot every time you want. 80 plus points by the Mavericks in the first half. The good news was that the Mavericks were playing the night before this. The starters rested in the fourth quarter as Marketing works inside of the paint, fires over Finney Smith that gets the Cavaliers on the board. I like the fact that he realized. Brown's second start of the season, his first as a Cav. His first this year came as a Maverick against the Cavs. Back in November as Levert getting hit the mid-range, grabbed by Markkinen, Levert's in the corner now. As Levert getting hit the mid-range, grabbed by Markkinen, Levert's in the corner now. He'll creep baseline, deal to Markkinen. Markkinen hangs, fires and scores. Starting to put the ball on the floor. A different look here for the Cavs with Love into the ball game and the 7-2 Brown to the Cavalier bench. Yes, it is. You got to use everybody differently. I'm out. Garland, nice his way to the paint, deals to Markin and Markin unloads. Powell rebounds, gives to Dodge. Harris Levert is right near the top of that list. Yes. A pass inside to Markin and hangs in the air, missed the shot as he was converged upon. Out comes Bullock, he'll give to Dodge. Pat and eventually collected by Stevens. Markkinen catches shoot. He's got it. Jason Kidd loves to throw a lot of double teams at opposing players. You can expect that throughout the night as former Cavalier Marquise Chris has checked in. Couldn't direct that in. And as that shot swatted by Lowry Markkinen. Runs to turn Laverne around. Into the corner it goes. Pullock pulls the trigger. Left it short. Runs with the weak side rebound. Then gets pushed and fouled by Markkinen. Harris Levert, 7 of 10 from the field, 19 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. That would have been his third. Big on the 76ers, and all fans in attendance get their MGK bobblehead presented by Siki. Here's Dodgich. His Mavericks trail by 6. He stumbles, and the Cavs scoop it up, not quiet. Out of bounds, it rolls. Toro gets cut off, goes to Markham, he checks the shot clock, and now shows 1. And he can't get the roll. Loose ball. Powell had it for a moment, out of bounds. The ball will stay with the Cavs. Starting the third quarter in a zone defense. And in the middle of that zone is Markkinen who uses the glass to score. The Cavs have to stay on top or even with the Mavericks while Dodgers is in the game. But they can control it when he's out of the game. Markkinen wide open off that feed from Darius Garland. Levert pressured by Finney Smith. Relays to Garland. Over his head, it goes to Market and Market and bounces to Brown. And the Cavs move the ball beautifully, and it results in another Brown flush. We'll be able to let the officials know as Market and loops it up and in. For the time being, we're tied at 85. Just past the midway point of the third quarter. Stevens love Market and Lavert and Goodwin are on the floor for the Cavs. Stevens staying right with Dodge. It's fade away jumper. That one didn't have a chance. Long rebound, however, comes to Bullock. It's Finney Smith. Rebounded by Market as the Cavs dodge a bullet. Keeping the Cavs within striking distance. They're down 10. Dodge it's way deep. That's going to be short. Market and rebounds. The Cavs three. three to go. Market and open. Timberwolves had a sizable first half lead. They now trail by 10 in the third. Runs the, can't get that to go. The Cavaliers entered action a game behind Toronto. 